Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have 10 meta teams yeah. for Love Cup for you, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Prima Sturgeon and I battling out our five plus five teams. And guys, these are literally the best teams. We worked hours on these to put these together on PV Book and we wanted to put it to test who has the better teams. So I have a freaking Triple Legacy Sea King, man. Ah, man, this thing is so expensive, so not worth it, but it helps me to win, so uh, it was worth it, it was worth it. But man, this beast gonna be shining in this cup, I gu guarantee you, it's gonna shine in this cup. Uh, there will be Charmers, I, I actually have a surprise for you. I have a pretty good Charmer team and Henry gets absolutely pissed when he faces that team. So this team, we have the triple, oh and Slowbro guys, if you don't have one, you should invest into one. The Gallery and Slowbro, I think it's gonna be meta, like 100% meta. It's gonna be like a wall rain in Love Cup. Yeah. I guarantee you that the Gallery and Slowbro becomes the next wall rain. And that is actually our safe swap on this team, ladies and gentlemen. It's super good, super tanky. It actually has access to Focus Blast. Ah, oh, man, it's just so good. It's so good and it's poison. It, it, it's just so good, ladies and gentlemen. I highly recommend that you invest into one. And Scrafty is always good. Uh, both Scrafty and Medicham is going to be equally good, I believe, in this meta. So it's your choice which one you want to invest into, which one, whichever you have better IVs on. But uh, Medicham might be a little bit better just because of all the charms. I guarantee you're gonna see lots of charms. Um, but anyways, so look at this bro, man, going. I, I think Henry lagged a little bit a few times. Um, good for me though. It's called weather condition, Henry. Weather condition. You know, you know, it's like raining, lightning, striking, all that. We know, we know, chicken dinner. Yeah, boy. All right, first match is done. So the first team boss, guys, as you saw, that, that's my favorite team, by the way. The first team that I played was my absolute favorite. It's, it's with the Seeking. It's safe swap uh, Galarian Slowbro, and then in the back we have for sweep freaking Scrafty, hiding from the Charmers. And then this team, I also like it a lot, so it's a it's super tanky team. So you have Macargo, I just want to throw overheat to lower lower as much as I can, because Licky Tongue is super freaking tanky. So now I can just come in with Wiggly and farm it all the way down, tank probably two. I think he can get to two Body Slams, I don't think he can get to another one after this, but still it's gonna hurt a little bit. Licky Tongue is such a great Pokemon, guys. Even if you have a single move, it will be worth it, but I recommend that you have the Power Rip, because that will absolutely destroy the Alamalala. So anyways, um, <clears throat> this is not good, but at least we can throw the uh, Ice Beam, which will do a little chunk on that birdie. And then we do have the Alamalala, this is beautiful. I actually did a lot of chunking, greatly it does way more than Ultra, holy moly. Anyways, guys, so this team on read the Rock Blaster. My absolute favorite little guy last season against so much yellow with it, Macargo. And in the back, Alamamola. And then last but not least, our freaking charmer, Wiggly Wiggly. And we, I would recommend Wiggly to be safe swap because it's alright. Because Alam well, Alamamola could be one too, but I almost guarantee that there will be lots of electrics in this meadow as well. So just be careful for that. But luckily, well, I mean, this is the main electric Pokemon that you're gonna face. It's super glassy. So honestly, it's up to you. Just try to pull it out with this team. And Henry, the team that he runs, man, that's a really good team. I really want to actually run that team that he's using right there. I, I think I'm going to test that team out as well. Uh, he has a really good team, guys. So make sure to take a look at his team and how he plays with it. Uh, and then now we come in with Alamamola. This is beautiful. And then we should be able to actually win this. We have one shield. So if we shield this, we can farm down because it's super glassy. Um, if we, I don't think, I think we even leave a discharge, honestly. Do we leave a discharge or no? But anyways, we get to a move and that's a winner, winner chicken dinner. Or maybe this was the match, it looked like Henry did lag on that one. But anyways guys, it's 2-0 ladies and gentlemen. Can we get to a 3-0? Hope you guys had an amazing go battle day. I climbed 300 elo, we are at 2700 now. So today is going to be expert push. And guys, I gained half a million stardust. How much did you gain? Let me know in the comments, I would love to know. And as always guys, this is, well before we go anywhere, if you love Charmers, smash that like button. If you hate Charmers, tell me why you hate Charmers in the comments below and subscribe to the channel. So this is a triple Charmer team with an absolute horrible lead. I can't stop out, so I decided to shield my Wiggly. And then I'm just farming it down until he, he farms me down basically. Oh, he swaps out, which is absolutely beautiful for me. So I'm gonna come in with the tanky little boy here, Club Fable. And then I just farm it all the way down. Um, we can even tank here if we want, honestly, because Clefable is just super thick. And save the two shields for the Amarita, so what we call it in English in the back. 
and then we still we can still farm it all the way down, but we're gonna have to shield here, so I'm gonna have to help invest into a shield. And he's throwing a discharge, okay, beautiful. And then I should be able to easily farm it down, beautiful. Now we're gonna swap out. A beautiful quetch, we can quetch this, it's probably gonna be a rock blast. Perfect, or rock down by me, that's what I meant. And then now we can farm it all the way down, that debuffed us, so that kind of sucks for us. We're not gonna do as much charm damage, but it's a fighter in the back! Which, guys, almost every team gonna have in the back, just so you guys know. So, double charm, I don't know if I recommend triple charm, I mean, it's fun meme team, honestly. And you can possibly win, just like we are winning here, ladies and gentlemen. Look, he still has two shields. I'm just gonna throw one here to get rid of one shield in case I, I need to throw one eventually or something, but there was no point throwing that, I should've just farmed it. So, uh, now I'm just gonna able to farm it down, we had to shield here and just fast move damage win here ladies and gentlemen just fast move damage right here so that charm will take care of that medicham and this is a winner winner chicken dinner i didn't he didn't need to throw he could have just went out with two shields so i don't know if i recommend the triple charm team guys double charm definitely i really think there will be tons of double charms in this meta and that's why i recommend you have the poison even double poison ladies and gentlemen my first team my first team will eat through the freaking poison. So this one is not good lead for me. So right at the bat, we have Strafty on lead, we have the Electrode, and I mean Voltrobe, and then we have Zard in the back, and I unfortunately uh, put in the wrong Charizard, ladies and gentlemen. It's single move Dragon Breath. That is not what you want to use. You want Fire Spin, and you want the Blast Burn, and of course, Dragon Claw. If I would have had that move set, we would have been in a way better position. But unfortunately, I do not have that. We throw an overheat, which is actually pretty good damage. But we weren't able to throw double blast burn, which should have been more damage and no debuff there. But it is what it is. Now we come in. We should be able to farm it all the way down. And then we have tons of energy. But like I said before, the vault rope is just super freaking glassy, guys. It's so glassy. Look how low we are, man. And it was water. I mean, waterfall, but still. So we swap out. And we come in with our Scrafty because. Uh, we, that's, that's what we need to do, I mean, honestly, I mean, that's all she can do. We have double foul play, so I'm hoping somehow we get rid of at least one shield here. I'm baiting. I never bait, ladies and gentlemen. Booyah! We got the bait, yes! We are master baiters, officially. This is for master baiting right here. This, this, this one, this one. You can get one too, just practice at home or wherever you want. Uh, okay, so we're gonna throw another one in hopes that, <coughs> sorry, he would shield again. But I don't think he's gonna shield this. It would have been absolutely amazing if he actually shields. Because then we actually had a chance. We threw a foul play here, but he's gonna shield this. We have another one, but the only win con was if he would have shield. Oh, wait, he survives that? Oh, if you can farm it down, please. Ah, damn, man. And he still has a shield. So only win con. It was a very far fetched win con, honestly. The only win con was if he shields the Scrafty. And then after that, we can farm down that Medicham all the way. And then we just throw like three Dischargers into that, uh, uh, what you call it, the little liquor. But it's still a far-fetched. <laughs> Alright, so this one is also a favorite team, because I just love the Licky Tug. It's not fully XL, unfortunately, guys, and it's not Best Buddy either. It's only a 1400, so it's only like level 42, maybe, or 41 and a half, something like that. So that kind of sucks, and it shows, because it's not as tanky and doesn't hit as much. You can clearly see that, but I mean, look at this beautiful shiny, I love this thing. And I have the, the obviously, the move on it, body slam, which you absolutely need. And guys, um, so, and it's an amazing safe stop in this, by the way, because it, it takes, it does really well against fighters as well, man, because it's super spammy and super tanky. I highly recommend this Pokemon, guys, if you have one. And then, guys, so today was the best meta teams for Love Cup that we wanted to feature, 10 Pokemon, I mean, 10 teams. And then tomorrow, guys, we're gonna drop the best, best, non-XL, so under level 40 or level 40, and level 40 and below, and budget or, or aka cheapest love cup teams so today was the best these are expensive with elite charge tms and elite fast tms and all that and expensive teams like i said and excels which all we don't have access to it so tomorrow oh man that's just a horrible news for me and then tomorrow it's going to be the budget teams budget but meta that's our goal so after one day of playing in Love Cup, we should be have a really good feeling of the meta, and we're gonna build a budget team for you, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure to come back on Tuesday. The best way to do that is either smash that like button if you're already a subscriber, because that if you smash it, you will get more recommendations, and it helps out the algorithm, and this video needs 200 likes. Please help me get there. And if you're not a subscriber, guys, we are almost at 10,000. Don't forget to smash that sub button, and we might just hit it. 
And if you're the 10,000 subscriber, you will get a gift. But you're gonna have to find out what it is. Just keep hitting that sub. And we're gonna pick a random winner as well, guys. So don't worry, don't worry. There are lots of gifts coming once we reach 10,000 subscribers and we're randomly picking subscribers. So good time to sub. All right, so unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna win this. It's a close match, but we're not as bulky. We needed more health or our Medicham. Um, and then we would have had a chance, but we do not have a chance anymore and we're gonna lose that match So 3-2 that means we won ladies and gentlemen Thank you so much for sticking around and I'm glad that you stick around for this far and you enjoy the teams I'll be back tomorrow for the budget team. Now. I'm out. Have a great day Thank you for watching Pew!